Hi, I'm Michael Correa, and this is Psych Exam Review, where I answer common questions and explain the key concepts in psychology. And in this video, we're going to look at dualism. And we're going to start with Rene Descartes. who lived from 1596 to 1650. And here you can see a picture of Descartes. See, so he's got a great soul patch going on there. And Descartes believed in dualism. And dualism is the idea that we have a mind, or soul, and a body, and that these are two separate entities. The body operates mechanistically and has reflexes, and the mind is non-material and separate from the physical world, and it controls the body. Now, this idea of dualism might feel right, but it's actually wrong. And most people today believe in monism. And monism is the idea from the Greek mono for one, that there's only one source, that all of your thoughts, your behaviors, your emotions, your traits, these all come from one source, and that is physical processes of your body. In other words, all of mental life, all of mental experience, is actually physiology. Everything has a physical underlying process. So if Descartes was wrong about dualism, and if most psychologists today believe in monism, why am I still talking about Descartes? Well, there's two reasons. And the first is that it's true the mind feels separate. It, our thoughts seem to be somehow different from other physical sensations. And so we can see why this idea was appealing to Descartes and why he believed it. And the second idea is that Descartes was a genius. I mean, he was probably one of the most brilliant people who has ever lived. And yet he got this wrong. And what that tells us, this lesson we can learn from Descartes' error here, is that well, we can't trust our intuitions. No matter how separate our mind feels, that doesn't mean that it is separate. We have to separate our intuitions about how the world works or how our mind works from what we can actually measure and observe. And this is going to be true for many other topics we cover. We'll see how illusions can fool our senses, or how cognitive biases can distort our thinking or our decision making. And I'd like to move now to talk about a man who lived about 200 years after Descartes. This is Hermann von Helmholtz. And uh, Helmholtz was a German physician, and let's see, we've got a uh, picture of him here. Here's Hermann von Helmholtz, and he was interested in reaction time. And so he did some studies where he uh, discovered that people responding to a stimulus touching their thigh, they were able to respond slightly faster than for that same stimulus touching their toe. Now, what does this mean? Well, the reason for this is that the message from the toe has to travel all this additional distance up the leg and then up the spinal cord and to the brain. So, of course, the message from the thigh has a shorter distance to travel than the message from the toe, and so it gets there a little bit faster. Now, what does this have to do with monism? Well, it shows us that, again, it doesn't feel this way. Uh, we don't feel like there's a time lag between something touching our toe and our arm or our thigh or, or anywhere. We, we think that mental life occurs instantaneously, that, that our mind just knows things as soon as they happen. But Helmholtz showed that that's not the case. And that we can't, again, back to this idea, we can't trust our intuitions about how things work. It feels instantaneous, but when we sit down and actually measure it, we find out that it isn't. Well, that's a basic overview of dualism and monism. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.